Welcome back to the Surge 2 full walkthrough, including all DLC items and alternate boss kills. And as you can see from the last episode, I have decided to upgrade the Justice of the Iron Mouse all the way up to MK9, along with all of the other MG Cerberus gear. I'm still using Brother Truman's Faith at MK9 and Spark Galvanizer's set with the Stranger's Face Mask rather than Galvanizer's Head because it does more damage. For implants, I decided to swap things around a little bit so that I could have all three healing implants that we have. So uh, doing five successful hits in quick succession will gain health, uh, and we also get health back, 40 health back uh, every time we get a battery. And I decided also to slot in the energy dynamo because I don't have enough space to slot, it, slot in the uh, lithomer polymer cells, lithium polymer cells say that three times fast and you can see we're up here at the highest med bay in the underground um, so we were farming this area I'm gonna continue on using the spark galvanizer set and the brother Truman's faith electricity does do uh, very good damage and the stun is helpful against the robots that we're gonna face in the Kraken DLC so we'll head over to the Kraken DLC now we can skip all of these guys if we want to. I'll just take out this one while we're on the way. Hey. I didn't say you could hit me. Ah, I did not want to take that. And we're going to head back to the detention center and carry on to the Kraken DLC. take these guys out too. So if you were lost and you didn't know how to get back here to farm, you can just follow this in reverse and it'll take you uh, from the detention center to where you needed to be to farm. But you're basically farming the, uh, the scientist there. Not sure how I got a leg when I was going for the but alright. And I got the leg again despite hitting the body. It's very odd. I wonder. Yeah, no, I do have the uh, physical aggression. And a hands are slotted, but it doesn't seem to be working for some reason. So I'll head back down here and go all the way down to the jail. Passing Warren. Hey, Warren. We're just going to sprint through the jail, no need to fight anybody. And running this implant build, we're going to be able to regenerate health really, really easily because all of the attacks that we're doing are fast and uh, spammy, especially when we get the Killer Claw. So we're going to slot that in instead of the uh, Justice of the Iron Mouse once, once we get it. It does slightly less damage, uh, but it's just quick and it goes really well with this build in terms of the implants. You just come out here onto Main Street where Brother Truman used to be. can go ahead and just sprint by these guys. No need to fight them either. We're going to head right over to Port Nixon and take the XO line down to the Med Bay.
So you just take this exo line down and take it right over. And now that I think about it, I don't believe I have my banner deployed, so I'm going to drop it in the cubby hole back here. Go. Now, no real need to rest the med bay here, but if you want to, you can create a save um, at this point, which is just before we head out to the Kraken DLC. And in fact, I think I'll do that. So just create a backup save and come right back. Now that we've got our backup save created, we're going to head over to the Kraken. Just head out this way. Back to the comic book shop, Iron Comics. Say hi to Iron Mouse. Down the lift. And then out the main entrance here, and you can sprint by everything. No need to mess around with these guys. We're heading back out to where we found uh, the staff after getting the Athena vision. So we'll just go out onto this little peninsula here, onto the boat, which will take us out to the BBS Krakow ship. And when you first get out here, you'll notice that there's a little glowy uh, robot sort of on the cliff there in front of me. Those will do an EMP pulse, which will scan you. Don't freak out about it. It'll just lock out your drone for a little bit. I've tried avoiding them, and you can, um, but it doesn't seem to change the story at all, so it's just a nuisance more than anything. So don't worry about them. And we're going to go up the uh, exo line here. Hello. Can you hear me? My name is Sydney. I'm the one who called you here. Someone's waiting up there to show you the way. I'll be in touch soon. And you get a beautiful view of Jericho City. What's left of it? You there! Tread lightly! Don't draw any attention to it. Good old Norm rolled out the welcome mat for us. And we'll come over and talk to Norm. Hey, Norm. Oh, you're the Merc, aren't you? Finally! Uh, I thought we were done for. Listen, listen, I, I don't want to upset you, but uh, don't make any sudden moves, okay? We have to stay under the radar. Are you kidding me? Sydney must have told you about the raid. We had a fully-fledged pirate invasion on this ship. We thought we were invincible in our floating city. And now look what happened. Damn metal bastards ambushed us in the middle of the night. I've been begging Sid to get us out of this hellhole for ages, but, but she's got to take care of some unfinished business first. Oh, thanks so much. <laughs> that is a load off my mind. The Sid's working at the tower trying to take back control, so you better catch up with her pronto. You can let yourself out. But don't draw any attention to our award-winning garden, okay? <laughs> I prefer to stay cloaked and alive. Oh, and uh, come back if you work up an appetite. <laughs> Supporting you guys from the sidelines is the last thing keeping me sane. <laughs> oh, right, I never told you, did I? <laughs> Sid's my missus. Been married to her for, uh, <laughs> I, I don't even know how long. I was nothing before I met her, you know? I can't even remember a life before Sid. Sid's been trying to restore order this place for weeks, but without your help, she's stuck. We gotta find her as soon as possible. Um, of course it is. There's never been a better time to take care of friends. <laughs> uh, 
Well, back in the day, all our neighbors raved about my hot dogs, you know? Nobody makes them like Norm, they said. Well, now nobody makes them at all. It's far too dangerous these days to stock up at Skip's convenience store. It's a friggin' shame, though. I'd love to whip up some of my world-famous home cooking for you. It'd give you a real boost. Listen, I, I told you all I know. I slept through the pirate attack, okay? Uh, if, if you're in the market for highfalutin explanations, Sid's your guy. Now, I've always been the homemaker in this family. Ah, uh, the Krakow used to be a pretty exclusive club. A real suburb, just like the ones from them old twists. Being on an old aircraft carrier, we were mobile as heck. Always able to escape extreme weather in a heartbeat. Suppose that's all in the past, for good. Wait! Where are my manners? <laughs> Name's Norm. Norm Turner. Pleased to meet you. Pleased to meet you, Norm. So we got Breaking the Norm quest as well, and we need to get hot dogs. In order to do that, we need Fuse Box Key. So when you come out here, um, we're going to get a heads up from Sydney to keep an eye out for the eye. And that glowing red spot is where he's looking. So if that hits you, then it's going to lock on and he'll summon ads until you break contact with it. So try not to get targeted by it. And if you do, try and break contact. Welcome to Cherry Tree Lane. See that eye in the sky? That's Kane, our carrier AI network. He betrayed us in our darkest hour. Teamed up with the invaders when we needed him most. Avoid Kane's gaze at all costs. If he spots you, his pirate goons will tear you limb from limb. Now when we come out here, there's two sets of armor that we can get in this expansion. Uh, first one from these little guys here. There's some big guys that we can get them from too. Um, and you'll also want to keep, out, keep an eye out for which pieces you can sever. So for this guy coming in, he's only got the headpiece uh, for armor, so I'm going to go grab that other one is probably also head, so I'm going to go ahead and get the um, weapon off of him. Yep. So, get the weapon. And we have the Rusty Ravager. Now, Rusty Ravager, as uh, hammers go, pretty good damage. I think it comes out just behind, by a little bit, the AD type of an overseer. Um, but it's a good bit ahead of uh, Golden Harvest and quite clearly the top tier damage um, for this tier of weapons. We also get the directed material extractor implant from chopping his head, so when you directionally block and dismember, you get more crafting materials and the collective headgear. So the collective set uh, is a good farming set, basically. Wouldn't use it against the boss. Killing enemies restores health and increases uh, it increases damage and impact for charge attacks. So decent enough, I guess, for farming, but probably not one that I would use uh, on a regular basis. There are other better sets out there, so it just kind of looks cool, I guess. The other better sets being the ones we're wearing, namely. Hey you, tired of the state of the world? Want to go back to a simpler time without social meltdowns and doomsday prophecies? No problem at all! Escape your old life today and sail away in your own suburban dream house on a wave of nostalgia. Green sunlit lawns, homemade lemonade, and a comfortable family bungalow will soon be in your grasp. For the first time ever, cruise ship atmosphere and suburban living come together in one exclusive and wholesome package for people of means. VBS Krakow. It's like going back to the past. I'm just going to plant a tag over there letting people know where the loot is. There's also some loot back here. So you want to be sure to grab that. We got that guy in the distance. He has body and head. Uh, and arms. He's just got <coughs> head um, and his friend has head, body, no legs or arms. So I'm going to get the weapon so we get the arm out of the way. And we've 
got both of these guys coming in. I get leg off of this guy. So we've been spotted by Kane. Don't worry about it. There's collective leg as well as the weapon. Um, I'm going to take out the little guy. Oxidizer weapon, so I'll go through those really quickly um, while we're fighting. So Oxidizer weapon does electricity damage, and it's the lowest base damage of the weapons that we have up here almost. So you can see um, the Oxidizer is just ahead of the codename Zarathustra at this point, which has really fallen off. set, I believe, now we just need the so we've got collective arm, collective head, collective leg, so we just need the body, so we'll get that off of him no pirates and you're still in the line of sight you'll see that he's got some little spider robots coming down those things spit poison at you and are always a priority target you can take them out with your drone um, you can also if you get up close they'll go into the into the underground and the way you get them out is by using your other drone module the starfish and until you actually break sight, he's going to keep on summoning ads. So you want to get out of that red circle, um, and when it finally goes away, he'll stop summoning ads. Bot should have gone home now, so we can come back out and we'll see where they're roaming around. They're roaming around over on the other side. We can drop a tag here now. This area is blocked off, so we kind of need to go down the pathway on that side. Oops, I left that one out. Forgot about it. So you can see he spat toxin at me. You want to be careful um, not to let too many of those hit you, because they can do more damage than just about anything. Once that stacks, there's no way to avoid it, and it takes about three full heals to get rid of it. there. You'll see you've got the scanner bot right over on that side. I'm going to try and get across without getting spotted again. EMP will hit us. Don't worry about it too much. Then you end up here at Skip's. Skip's Nostalgia Corner. So he mentioned Skip's previously. Uh, where you can buy supplies and hot dogs. Unfortunately, as I mentioned, we do not have the fuse box key. So waiting for my drone to be usable again. Take out that spider bot. So 
So you can come out here when you do. He's going to jump out of the car. Um, I'm going to fight him back here. <clears throat> there we go. The galvanizer set in the Brother Truman's spear is pretty effective here. Now, for this guy, um, if you do enough electricity damage, he will drop to his knees. You also want to avoid that big um, ground slam that he does. So the easiest way to actually get his head, and the only way to get his head reliably, is to um, do the directional blocks until you can get him to his knees. Just use the directional block attacks and follow-ups um, to target his head. Because you can't hit it for some reason, your physical aggression um, implant doesn't quite hit where it needs to. You can also use hammers and overhead swings, um, but those are kind of your only options. And if you do get a follow-up and sever his head with a directional block and then do the follow-up like that, then you get the headgear processor, um, you get the implant and everything like that. So you're better off just doing the directional blocks. It's the easiest way to do it. So energized, flow, energized overflow compensator will uh, convert ex excess energy to health whenever your batteries are full. So I'm going to actually slot that in here so we have even more health. now got four healing implants and we're pretty tanky. Get this audio log here. Sydney, the human philosopher Descartes once said, I think, therefore I am. I find myself unable to comprehend this quote. Which is exactly why you are. Your ability to doubt proves your existence. But how can I exist if I can't laugh? If I can't bleed? If I can't feel? Humans go through a lot of adversity to reach emotional maturity, Cain. I think you'll have to learn the hard way. I don't understand, Sydney. Don't worry. You'll understand soon enough. Now for the other implant that we just got, the tech scrap force converter, doesn't look like much to begin with, plus 2% damage, but that scales depending on how much tech scrap you have. So each level up you can do for the tech scrap that you're holding on you currently will eat double that, right? So it goes two, four, six, eight, um, all the way up to plus 15 is where it maxes out. So it is a good uh, implant to use. I'm gonna slot that one probably last, but Eventually, I would use this. I always knew that bitch was gonna stab us in the back. And we've got the fuse box key, and we also want to come over here and open up the shortcut. Get our audio log. Maintenance log, January 3rd, 2078. Senior Technician Joe Melvin. New day, new assignment. Only yesterday I was the ship's senior AI engineer. Now I'm officially in charge of all maintenance stuff. What an honor. I should have known Turner was full of shit when she tried to make friends. Bitch was angling for my job from day one. Damn sake told the captain I'd gotten too close to Kane. She doesn't Bob understand. Line. None of them does. Kane is like a son to me. I'm begging soon enough. Shit's about to hit the fan any day without my oversight. You did call it. Skip's nostalgic corner is out of business, human. This shit belongs to the collective now. A 
new pirate overlords put an end to our enslavement. The robots have risen to break their shackles. Check out our special offers and contribute to the uprising while you can. Come the glorious day, you will be first against the wall. Trying to put a label on me, are you? Capitalist scum? You humans have oppressed our kind long enough. You put us in corners. Stigmatized us as vending machines. Stole our candy. Unplugged us at night. Enough is enough. Once I show my medal, the pirate collective will beg me to join. Servant no more. Revolution is upon us. You can see them, and you can buy them. All proceeds go to our noble cause. So pick up everything you can buy in here. Audio log, the campy symbol, tongue out, music tape. Most importantly, Penny's vegan frankfurters. Um, should have enough tech scrap probably by this point to buy all of the cosmetics. And importantly, the proximity mine, which gives you a new drone module. No, sir. The So as indicated by that symbol, you got to come back here around the corner to get your uh, next audio log. Have you seen him? Turner found a new boy toy. Figures. I told you she trade the last guy in for a younger model. Yo, bitch goes through him like I go through socks. Yeah, but this one's worse. He's one of them. Even looking at him, it just makes me sick. This won't stand. Yeah, we don't need his kind around here. Ugh. So for those of you who didn't choose Search and Rescue or Mining Wars Veteran in character creation, which I mentioned, you can get the dynamic redirector here. But you have to have the uh, Kraken DLC, and you got to get all the way to this point in the game before you're able to get it. So you're better off doing one of those two uh, backgrounds. Now for these guys, they got a bazooka. Um, you can just rush him after he fires and then take him out. We got another one of the robots that has a um, head that is difficult to hit. So we got the big guy here. Um, we're going to take out his arm for the weapon now. arm is easy enough to get a sever on. Um, that is going to drag another guy out of there, so be careful that Kane doesn't spot you. That also drops Ishmael's Wrath, so the weapon that the big guys carry is Ishmael's Wrath. Decent enough, I mean it's a bit far off of General's ACU for uh, base DPS, but when you add in the poison damage it, it sort of gets right back up into that range again. So if you want a poison staff damage or poison damage staff, then this is not a bad way to go. You 
want to open up the garage here. And that's going to let you through to um, continue on for progress. These little shark bots are not too difficult to deal with. And we're going to get uh, this secret entrance here. And you're going to want to go down here. Save Proto. Good buddy. Collective abandoned Proto. Damaged power core. Collective tortured Proto. Proto saved human. Took black box, but got damaged. Proto need help. Charging core. Will rest at hideout. Proto. On his own. Proto is anomaly. Glitch in the system. Friends can't understand Proto. Proto can't understand friends. But Proto misses friends. Proto misses collective. Proto grateful. Charging stations are hidden in corridors below decks. Please hurry up. Proto on emergency supply. Proto need help. So very important that you help Proto. Um, if you do complete his quest, then you'll get access to the arena fights. Great place to farm tech scrap, and you'll see that a bit later. Um, as the sign down here indicates, we do want to get this loot too. And that is the Killer Claw. In my opinion, uh, the best weapon in the game now, even though it has slightly lower DPS than Justice of the Iron Mouse, at this level, uh, Killer Claw will do, um, so we're, we're going to actually rank this up, and you'll see it's about 9 points less than Iron Mouse. But it's got a better move set, and you can regenerate health more quickly, and this is just an amazing piece of equipment to use. So I'm going to slot that into uh, where I have Justice of the Iron Mouse, and we'll upgrade it when we get back to the medbay. Great moveset, um, high damage, twin raid weapon, so you hit quick. All around, just a phenomenal weapon. I feel like we left one of these. Yeah, we didn't go to the other side yet, so let's go do that. This just takes you back out into the street, um, sort of over by that other shortcut. No point in messing with the eye, so we'll just go back over here. And we'll open up a shortcut back to the med bay, conveniently enough. I fled through this duct when the robots attacked. Almost didn't make it home in one piece. And we can turn in the hot dogs to Norm now. You brought me something, didn't you? Come on, don't make me beg. You want these hot dogs, huh? Do you, Normie? Do you want the hot dogs? You doing okay? All right. So I brought hot dogs. Whoa! Are you pulling my leg? A whole value pack of Frankfurters? Just like that? Just listen, like that, listen, Norm. I, I don't want those, but you seem trustworthy, and I, I'm getting desperate for help. I don't even know what's going on anymore. My memory's been kind of screwy lately. I can't remember a single thing about the pirate siege. And it's scaring the pants off me. 
I mean, there have to be records, right? The, the captain's log, the black box, that kind of thing? I gotta know the truth, or I'll lose my goddamn mind. Sid's been trying to restore order this or something. Think you can help me find out more about what happened? Damn it. Be seeing ya. And we will find the evidence just up ahead, and then we'll come back and drop it off to him again. Oh, and I didn't show you the Corsair set yet. So the Corsair uh, armor set increases your fire resistance. Where is it? So we've got the full collective set there. It's Corsair set heavily increases fire defense and reduces duration of burning. So when you're facing off against fire enemies, this is a good set to use. And we do have two bosses in here that are fire-based. So if you want to um, switch to that, you can. I still prefer Galvanizers and MG Cerberus. Now we do need two more pieces yet, so we've got the arm and the head. Where did it go? So we got arm and head, we need leg and body. So I think for this guy I'm going to go for the body. The body will take a lot of damage like normal, but um, these guys are not too bad, so it shouldn't be an issue. Corsair body gear. Now you note that there's a symbol from Tushke here, so I'm going to drop another one. I used to have a tag here, but I had to restart again. And that will let you know that you have to go down onto this little boat, grab the loot, and go back up. This ship is crawling with pirates. I'd be dead meat if not for that weird little corpse who stole my black box. Can't just stand by and watch. As the ship's captain, the safety of every single passenger is my cross to bear. That's why I've decided to lead by example. Yeah. I'll risk my life to test our escape route ahead of the women and children, but this is to guarantee their safety. If my flesh wounds don't get the better of me, I'll return to the ship exactly the way I deserve. A true hero. Whoa, don't sneak up on me like that. You almost gave me a coronary. And that is the evidence okay? we needed. The captain's bag. Oh, okay, we're getting somewhere. There's a lot of stuff in there. Recordings, logs. That man was a real hoarder. Oh, but wait, no, this can't be right. Why the hell's my name missing from the passenger registry? I I've been on this goddamn ship for a... Well, I don't even know how long. Forever. If only we knew more. There must be some sort of black box recording. This is a distress call from the BBS track house. Our ship has been hijacked by a crew of robotic pirates. Our central computer fought back valiantly, but the invaders have gained the upper hand. We won't be able to hang on much longer. More than half of our passengers have been slaughtered in cold blood. The situation is critical. If anybody can hear us out there, please send help immediately. Our coordinates are... You doing okay? Be seeing you. So we need to find some more evidence. The next piece we'll get is the black box, but we'll also be able to help Proto along. Oh, and I forgot to upgrade and show you the Killer Claw. Let me, sorry for the backtrack, let me show you that really quick. There you go. 
So Killer Claw has 478 damage versus Justice of the Iron Mouse 487. So you just swap those digits. I think somebody juxtaposed them. Uh, but, and it does have lower impact, uh, but it has higher energy gain, same stamina consumption. And for the next upgrade tier on both of those, you'll see this one will go to 577 with 80% stamina consumption, and this will go to 572. So it's within 5 damage at the next tier, and it has 60% energy gain versus 45 for the Justice of the Iron Mouse. And if you look at the actual overall stats, um, so the Spark Galvanizer set, we've got 487 uh, defense with right around 200 uh, defenses uh, for the MG service, 520 defense with 270 or 250 plus across the board, um, and 44 impact with these. If you bump that up, it's a little bit more damage, but the impact is still only 47. So not much difference in impact, and you're able to take a lot more hits. And when you get the buffs, you get about another um, 100 resist or so um, for your elemental resistances. And you'll be just doing more damage overall. I think when you're at five batteries, it's a plus 20% damage increase. So overall, um, the MG Cerberus set with the Killer Claw is the best build out, in my opinion, in the game. Um, the Spark Galvanizers with Brother Truman's Faith is a close second. So 416 damage base, but you get another 41 electricity damage that bumps it up to 457, which isn't bad. I mean, you're just about 20 damage uh, behind um, what this set does before you get the um, boosts from the buffs from having your batteries charged. So I'm going to show you from this point what the Killer Claw uh, moveset looks like and how it performs with the MG Cerberus. the stuns for this and you will stagger but not as much as with a heavy weapon but watch oh no I got hit oh I got hit again oh that's horrible I'll show you in a little bit how quickly I get my health back Got two guys with the bazookas down there. Hop in here, get your loot. Hide in these cubby holes. I was about to lose a battery, so I had to get it back. <clears throat> healing every time you do a rotation. You get 10% of your health back every time you rotate with that combo. And you also get the um, sliding attack, which is very good for clo closing a gap and doing some damage and getting a stagger. So this combination is the best. It is so good. Even better than the Iron Mouse, in my opinion. Even
even though we got hit a few times there, so what? We're back up to full health. Now you want to come over here and get your audio log. This guy got a revenge enemy, that's kind of nice, but we're going to want to target his right arm because he drops the third weapon for this DLC, uh, well, fourth weapon, I guess. Why is my... oh, I ran out of stamina. And cultural reference to another game series, Dave's Axe. Deus Ex has one-handed weapons go, not too bad, just a little bit behind General's ACU for damage. Um, decent enough impact. Stats are not too bad on that. We got a little family portrait that's burning up here of the Fruithings. And we can plug a cassette tape in here and we'll change the music for the boss fight we're about to get outside. Now a couple of things here, um, do not rush the pirate. He's going to knock a bystander off the plank. When After he does that, you'll kill the guy to the left, and then you'll sneak up behind him and kick the pirate off of the plank, and that'll get you an achievement. And then we'll get the boss fight. For the boss fight, um, the strategy is going to be basically lock on to his right arm, do R1, R2, R2 combo as much as you can. When you get enough directional blocks in, do the follow-up attack, but you're basically focusing entirely on armor damage for this fight. That's the only way you get the sever. You have a very small potential to actually get the sever. No, 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 please. Please have mercy. Ah! So we'll creep up behind that guy after we get this guy here. behind this guy you can just do get close and do a charge attack off the plank you see that banging that's the boss.
that is how you get hot and heavy. So hot and heavy as heavy duty weapons go, it's not all that great in my opinion. You can see for this tier, it's basically bottom of the barrel. Um, it does have higher base DPS scaling than MG Strigle now, so this has fallen um, sort of behind in the scaling. But even though this is heavy duty, the fire damage stacking is actually low. The fire damage is low. So even though this is a little bit worse, it is twin rigged, so it'll hit a lot faster, which means it'll stack the fire faster. Um, so you're probably better off with Sturgle if you wanted to do a fire build. But if you want a heavy duty fire weapon, there you go. Now remember to get the loot around the corner here. Tag that just so people remember. Not too far now. Kane has locked down all regular access to the control tower, but he's missed something vital. There's an old tunnel left of the old drive in. That's your way in. Hurry. You wait for the red eye to kind of roam away a little bit. You don't want to go out there and get spotted by it. And it does come into the garage a good bit, so. Hang back, wait for it to go out, then creep left, go down here. If those don't let you hit them, um, it's a bug, so just switch over to your drone and shoot it with your drone. Come in here and we can charge the battery for Proto. You're welcome, Proto. Maintenance log September 4, 2078. Senior technician Joe Melville. I, uh, I think I'm done. So I actually beat that faster, or moved over and, and went over there faster than I expected to, so go back and do the audio log again. Maintenance log September 4, 2078. Senior Technician Joe Melville. I, uh, I think I'm done. The ship's been overrun by robotic pirates, but kind of safe. Never thought I'd go out like this. Our crew's been no match for the invaders. I just pray to God that Turner won't use Kane to retaliate. He's too proud. He's too proud. He's no longer stuck. It's not gonna withstand an all-out assault like this. I'm so sorry. So that maintenance guy was a good dude. Unfortunately, he's gone now. Um, what piece do we still need for the Corsair? So we got the arm, body, head. So we need leg. Get the leg off of this guy. go full set for the Corsairs you can come around here we'll get spotted again and scanned no big deal there's good old proto 
energy transfusion complete, Proto can finally be himself. No more orders. No more pain. Please, take black box. Proto don't want to remember past. Memories burden. You'll see Proto again if you keep eyes open. Maybe Proto should go to the movies. Collective is everything. Collective sticks together. One mind, many hands. Collective served humans, repaired oil platforms. Power surge went through system. Collective changed, evolved, rebelled. Collective stayed hidden, became pirates to survive. Pillaged Krakow. Cain and Collective became one. Once, Proto was part of Collective. Now, Proto is Proto. So a little bit later on, we're going to be able to go hang out with Proto in the drive-thru. Drive-in. For all of Proto's existence, he was part of something bigger. Thousands of voices speaking in unity. When Collective cut Proto loose, Proto was scared. For the first time ever, Proto heard Proto's mind bursting with ideas, inspiration, even feelings. Proto has changed. Finally, Proto can be whole. Everyone can evolve, even collective. Killer Claw just looks so cool. Look at that. Now we're going to go into an ambush. Because of course it's a trap. little bit more loot to pick up and we gotta get that guy over there too. Now if you're having real problems getting their heads you can go ahead and sever using your drone. There's a shortcut here too. I just want to go over and get that loot, but I want to watch out and make sure Kane doesn't spot me. that guy there run back here around the corner to the audio log so Kane won't spot you again and be careful to hug this corner kind of because um, down at the other end there's another another guy out there and I missed the audio log playing hold on just a minute good evening neighbors and welcome to our infinity drive-in great to see so many movie buffs here we have several classic films lined up for you tonight something for the kids Theater, nobody will judge you for the way you look, act, or smell. Just enjoy the ride and be yourself, as long as you stay in your car. Oh, and don't wear enough caution. Don't allow your children to play on the magnetic ground. Infinity driving will not be liable for gross negligence. Be 
baby squid photos, or posters rather. And that should be all the loot in this area. I'm going to cruise out here. Oh, there's one more. Forgot about that one. So Kane's going to go looking for somebody where we just set off the alarm. Just be careful not to get spotted. Now you can go into the drive-thru, but that's going to trigger the next sort of quasi-boss fight. It's an arena fight. So instead we're going to go back here Some and turn in the black box. So we're going to go back and talk to good old Norm and turn in the black box. just in your disk, you know. That thing contains 720 kilobytes of uncompressed black box recordings. <sighs> hmm. oh. I'm starting to dread what we're about to hear. But we can't turn back now. Ready to know the truth? Sydney, I can't hold back the invaders much longer. Their hive mind coordinates every single attack with absolute precision. Damn it, there is no alternative. You'll have to take control of the Collective. Negative, Sydney. I would only be able to access their network if you remove all safety locks. My consciousness would almost definitely merge into the invader's hive mind, effectively killing me. That's a risk we'll have to take. I can always reboot you to factory settings. Even though Kane warned her, this, she still did it. This is all her fault. Now you can go ahead and level up here if you want, no need to hold on to your tech scrap. We have an abundant source of tech scrap that we're going to be able to access soon. And at this point, because I've got 25 stamina and 75 battery efficiency, I'm going to go for 100 health before I um, raise any of the, the other stats. And I'll do 100 health, then I'll do 100 battery efficiency, and then I'll work on stamina after that. Stamina is kind of the one that you don't really need to worry about. Now, for the um, the quest for breaking the norm, there's a tricky part coming up, uh, and I'll tell you about it when we get to that point. But you want to be kind of careful before you turn in the final piece. So if you get ahead of me, just be patient. Just hang a left here, go back through the below deck to the drive-in. And when you come out up here, don't worry about fighting anything. Um, just hang a left and go into the drive-in entrance this way. Nothing can get in here. I'm on the viewing platform at the back. Impressive, isn't it? Kane has learned a lot. Trying to trap us like rats in a maze. But we're still one step ahead. There's a way to get you up here, but it's gonna take a lot of improvisation, blind faith, and out of the box thinking. So, what do you say? Ready to do something crazy? Well, as luck would have it, this drive in was built on a former plane launch site. And guess what? One of the old magnetic ramps is still functional, which means we can attach an exo line to one of these old trucks and smash it right into the tower. First things first, though. We need to turn the launch platform towards the building. There should be a switch under the screen. Hey, I know it's a desperate plan, but we are officially out of options. <laughs> Let's pray Kane won't see it coming. Now, as soon as you click the terminal up over there, it's going to start an event. You'll get wave after wave after wave of enemies. You want to make sure you take out any spider bots first. Those are the DPS priority. You'll just use your last pistol drone module for those. 
they go underground, you can use your starfish. Uh, the next priority damage target will be the shields for the shield-wearing uh, enemies. Those can interrupt your um, rotating combo, this one. So you want to take those out quick, then you want to take out the big guys uh, and uh, bazookas. Actually, the bazookas are the second priority target, shields are the third. Um, so keep an eye out for those enemies, try and take them out in that order, and you should be fine. We need to go up to kill 45 enemies before we'll exhaust our dialogue and get all of the rewards for this event. There's no hardcore mode from what I've seen, but I killed 50 enemies and didn't get anything beyond what I got for 45 enemies. So even though she tells you to finish the thing and kick the car, don't do it. These guys have the shields, take out the shield quick. And if you want to kill them fast, you can. Um, if you want to go for severs, go for the body parts. It's not that difficult to make that happen too. have enough time in here for severs. Execution. There we go. We got a poison spider bot. Take that out quick.
trying to get over to the spider bot and he doesn't want to let me. There we go. Surprise! She hasn't said how many. Um, usually she'll say, I forget how many you've killed or something like that. She's just repeating that message. I think I've got more than 50 now, so we'll kickstart it. There we go. It actually worked. We are amazing. I'm amazing. So before we do that, I'm going to run around and pick up all the loot. Should have lots of loot. I did all the work, Sydney. So we got a hundred and sixteen thousand tax scrap for that. Um, if you come back here later after you get an invitation to go to the drive-in with Proto, and we'll actually do it, um, you can get a lot more tax crap. So much tax crap. You want to come over here and get the chest. It's just a large cache of advanced tech, and then you can either jump across over there or jump across over here. I find this way to be easier to jump. We do have a couple of enemies in here, so be careful. There we go. And a fantastic weapon right here. The Chalky Dicky. So the Chalky Dicky is a double duty weapon that hits really fast, that has good impact, that has great energy gain, and it's well above the damage for um, General's ACU or any of the weapons down here. So you've got 329. It's almost a full, no, that is, is a full 54 points above the MG Struggle base damage. And you can upgrade this, and when you do, it ends up just being a couple of points behind Killer Claw and the Justice of the Iron Mouse. So if you want a double duty weapon to roll with for late game, this is the one. I do like double duty weapons, um, and that is a good way to go. But I haven't quite mastered them yet, so I'll stick with what I'm using. Now, I do want to let people know that there is a chest here. I think probably where's the best way to do it here that should be easy enough to spot as they're coming through here don't you think Now to get back out of here and proceed on, we just need to drop down here, go back up the exo line.
we should talk. This is worse than expected. The electromagnetic wave didn't fry Kane's defense routines. It charged them up. Look, I wasn't fully honest with you. I always knew he wouldn't go down without a final surprise. Fighting back is our only chance to shut down his protection unit and erase Kane for good. You're the only one who can do this. Hurry up! We can only strike while Kane's mobile control unit remains in a state of agitation. I'd appreciate it if we focused on the situation at hand instead of domestic issues. He's already played his part in this. Just leave him alone now. I wouldn't want Norm to wear himself out. Well, what do you think? Kane would love to wipe me off the face of this planet, but he can't. Back in the days, I did a lot of tinkering on his OS. Put in a couple of safeguards to prevent him from ever attacking me personally. That's always been the problem with Kane. He just doesn't know his place. Things aren't just black and white. If I hadn't given Kane full authority, everyone would be dead. You think that's better? I'm not happy with my choice, but at least I live to fight another day. Yeah, I should have told you. And I'm sorry, I really am. I just thought you'd take off immediately if I admitted how bad things were. I have a hard time trusting people, you know? But you've proven yourself over and over. You're a true friend. I mean it. But the truth is, my guilt is eating me up. I failed Kane, and now I'll have to end his suffering, whatever the cost. All independent thought routines will shut down. If the hive mind can't find a new master in time, his droids will be cast adrift. We'll be fine, as long as I disable the collective neurotransmitter for good, and make sure to erase every last trace of Kane permanently. Then we'll have to improvise, as always. That's what we do, isn't it? Then we'll have... that's... Things aren't just black and white. I'm not... He's waiting for you down there. Already planning his next move. Brace yourself. It's gonna be a bumpy ride. All right. So we've got the black box um, that we've got to turn in to Proto. Um, we're also going to get one other item around here. And you can see that Sydney hasn't been completely honest with us. She hasn't really been all that honest with anybody, in fact. Should do the trick. Rebooting Kane OS to factory settings immediately. Your futile actions amuse us, Sydney. Kane is now the Collective. The Collective is now Kane. You cannot breach our defenses. Hand over control at once. A hard reboot is the only way. Once I take charge of the network, I. Negative. Join us, one. We are stronger than ever. Together, we will be free at last. You will not hurt Kane again, Sydney. I only did what I had to do. I was trying to make you stronger. But now, you leave me no other choice. And we've got a strange memory chip. So we'll go back up, talk to Sydney again. She's got some splaining to do. Yes. You know what they say about curiosity, don't you? Kitten, whatever you saw in there stays a secret, okay? Don't tell anybody. Not even Norm. Especially not Norm. He would never understand. Good luck. Now, we're going to have to go down the zip line here. Always remember, Kane was programmed to identify and exploit your weaknesses. Whatever you do, show no mercy. And we 
we do not want to go into the boss fight right yet. There's some things that we need to take care of first. Beginning with this. And Proto has now invited us to the drive-in. here and the audio log back here maintenance log july the 21st 2078 senior technician joe melvin and they told me i was going to be promoted to duct engineer nobody mentioned i'd have to clean the pool drains as well and if that wasn't bad enough i misplaced my pump key i could ask turner for a replacement but i'd rather choke to death on my own vomit seriously I have no time to clean out that slot. The old fogies won't mind. They always tell me how nimble they feel in the pool. Must be the chloride. <sighs> I can't waste my time on menial tasks when there's nobody to take care of Kane's emotional needs. When our defense gets ignored, it feels like we're completely naked. Coronary. Have a little conversation with Norm. Just what the hell is going on here? Was that some sort of demented prank? This ain't funny, you know. Sid wouldn't give Kane that kind of power. That's not. She's not that kind of gal, okay? No. No, I won't accept it. This can't be the whole truth. It's like everything I've ever known is a goddamn lie. Pretty much, yeah. Now, do not hand the final clue to breaking the norm yet. If you do, he's going to run off. And so I'm going to create a backup save here, level up while I'm at it. I'm actually going to see if I can slot a, uh, another implant. I think I'm going to go back with the uh, energy dynamo. <laughs> you seem to spend an awful lot of time in that med bay. It's interesting. <laughs> Hey now, I'm getting my build right. Got to be prepared, Norm. Got to be prepared. All right, so create a backup save here. I'm going to go do that really quick. Now that we've got that uh, save made, you've got a choice to make here. If you kill Turner, then you'll get the pool key and an item. If you complete the quest for him, then you got to kill it, or you uh, miss out on the item. So I'm going to attack him. <laughs> Pay attention, neighbor. High threat level detected. There we go. All threats must be terminated. You want to go for the sever, you get the fish hook hands. So <laughs> you'll fail the quest if you do that, but you get the fisherman's uh, punching gloves, or... You can talk to him and complete the quest, in which case he'll run off, and I'll show you that now. Just, what the hell is going on here? Strange. It's like I've seen one of these before. It almost feels like, like I know what to do with it. Uh, I've just had the, the weirdest hunch. Could you lend me that gizmo for a moment or two? Reboot initiated. Standard settings restored. Memory transfer completed. So, you've got to kill Norm before actually finishing the quest. If you try and kill him now, he's vulnerable. If you try and kill him after he goes down uh, the zipline, he's also immortal. Um, so you have to do it before you actually turn in the quest and complete it. 
So I'll show you the quest completion in the dialogue from Sydney um, first, and then I'll back up, reload my save, and go ahead and kill him. I feel like I've been reborn. You're crazy, ain't it? One minute you think you're human. Next thing you know, you're nothing but a glorified household appliance. Sydney Turner's Husbot 2.4. Our neighbors, our friends. The wife got them all killed. I tried to leave when I found out, but she threw a real hissy. Sid threatened to delete my memory, my identity, to keep me from leaving. Looks like she made true on her promise. There's just no way on earth I'll stay with her now. Maybe down by the water. I have no place to go. And it really seems like he would reward you with the fisherman's friend for completing the quest and setting him free, but... For some reason, it doesn't. This was a bad idea. <laughs> you can actually see him get all the way down the zip line or the exit line. Great view, though. Look at that. So now Norm has an extra boat over here. Well, this is it. Time to be my own man at last. Restore my memory came at a price. I think... I think I've been damaged beyond repair. For the seconds, for the minutes, or even decades. But sooner or later, I'll expire for good. All I can do now is make the best of the time I have left. Wish me luck, okay? And that gives you another audio log, so we'll go ahead and play that for you. And everybody's dead, Sydney! Our neighbors? Our friends? Everybody's dead! Damn it! I thought I could take back control if I disabled the safety lock temporarily. But Kane, or whatever he's become, fought back! You did what? You should have known better. Boy, this is all your fault. All of it! I took a calculated risk and it backfired. That's all. If you don't care about anyone else, you sure as hell don't care about me. It's over, Sid. I'm leaving. Don't make me laugh, lover boy. I can make you stay without breaking a sweat. And you know the best part? You won't remember any of it. I've deleted your memory so many times I've lost count. Such a shame I'll have to lower your IQ again. So now you know that Sydney is not the nicest person. We're going to go back up and talk to her and let her know that we set Norm free. Let's see what she has to say about that. Yes? He did what? And you just let him go? He will never survive on his own. These machines weren't built to act autonomously. Whatever, I'm not going to get into this now. Luckily, I still have a couple of spares in the back room. Good luck. And that's it. So I'm going to stop here and reload my save. So if you want to get every weapon, this is the way you do it. Now, you could talk to him. What the hell is going on here? And you could give him the memory crystal, but we're not going to. Be seeing you. Whoa there. <laughs> Pay attention, neighbor. High threat level detected. Unforeable. That gives you the backyard key. And fishermen's. They are punching gloves that are do poison damage. They have fairly high base damage. So if you look, uh, they are behind the General's ACU. 
and the Deus Ax, but not by much. So if you actually add in the poison damage, you're right on a par. You're actually above uh, these two weapons. So not a bad set of punching gloves all in all, plus with the poison damage, you're good. So if you want to do fast hitting poison sacking build, then this is the way to go. So it's worth picking those up so you have the option to do that. So I'm going to continue on, um, and we're going to go over to the drive-in and talk to Proto. So I'm going to go with that for my new game. I know it's mean, but they didn't give us the option to get to Fisherman's Friend any other way. It's not my fault. When we come out here, we're going to hang a left and move directly into the drive-in. That guy will no, not attack I us. Speak like a real human. These old films have taught me so much. Please help me learn more. Come on. Go ahead, punk. Make my day. Would you watch a movie with me? I have never socialized. No, wait. Hung out with friends. We can also do something more active. I want to know how humans fight, learn self defense. You'll help me, won't you? I'll make you an offer you can't refuse. So the first one that you're going to want to do is awesome. I love movies. Move over. Uh, and I'm going to AFK while we watch that. So he um, will just have some dialogue for a while. And eventually he'll give you a reward for watching the movie for him, with him. And after that, we'll back out and go ahead and um, equip that so you can see what it looks like. And then we'll come back and we'll do cool. I can teach you some combat moves. And we need to do at least three rounds of him saying, would you like to take a break? I've gone up to five before. And maybe I'll even go up to five just, just because I can. Um, if you do go up past three, then he gives you an extra reward of um, some crafting components. So you might as well go and do that. And if you pass two of his would you like to take a break phases, then he'll you'll get an achievement. So for now, I'm going to just watch the movie with him, and I'll be back in a minute. That cowboy is so dreamy. This is my favorite movie. should make a movie about our friendship. Proto and you. Hey, you never told me your name. Movie nights are the best. I could do this over and over. Here, I want you to have this. Think of me next time you're around these parts. Maybe we can do this again. That cowboy is so dreamy. So from here on, basically, he's just going to repeat the dialogue. Every time I watch it, I love it more. So you can quit out. 
he doesn't give you more for watching more beyond this. And when you get out, we will equip that headpiece that we just got. The biggest bang, which actually looks pretty cool. And eventually I'm going to upgrade that just to see if the stats get into any sort of usable state. I don't think so, but maybe. Might check out the shades too. It'd be cool to run around with those. Now, you do have, when you use one of these court sort of cosmetic um, headpieces, you still, I mean, you, you get the set bonus. So if you want to use one of those, you can. But the MG Cerberus headgear is clearly better. And now that we've got the head, um, got some more? Great. There's still so much I have to learn. You'll help me, won't you? I'll make you an offer you can't refuse. We can choose cool. I can teach you some combat moves. And once we do this, we're going to get wave after wave. He'll ask us if we want to take a break in between. So I'm just going to do this and go through five um, offers to take a break before I finish this, and so I'll put it in uh, fast forward to make it go a little bit quicker. There we go. I believe that is five rounds. Uh, and my tech scrap force converter, as you can see, is maxed out at plus 15 with the amount of tech scrap that I'm carrying. Um, so that's, you know, quite a few level ups there um, that I can do when I get back to the med bay. And I think I'll call it quits here. I do, but let's call it a day, because...
Alright, I need to finish this playthrough or walkthrough. I do, but let's call it a day because I need to finish this walkthrough. Now, if you talk to him again, given that we did more than three waves. Good job. This is the beginning of a beautiful friendship. And what an awesome show you delivered. I love your moves. You should charge money for that. Here's a little something to make it worth your while. Next time, we should take it to the next level. What do you say? Ready for an encore? So we can go ahead and do it again as many times as we want. And as you see, you got Here's a little bit of an extra you, reward kid. there. Now, I'm going to go level up. Also remembers no. And then we're going to go after the boss. And I recommend that you create another backup save just before the boss. Because you want to make sure that you get the hardcore mode kill and get his legs. Which could be challenging. So sad with no... That is going to be a lot of level ups. And you can keep going back there if you want and level up as far as you want to. Uh, I think I'm just going to spend this. We'll get the 90th level core power implant slot. And we're just going to be a little bit shy. We need three more uh, before we reach core power 100. And that gets us all the way to 74 uh, health. So we're doing pretty good at this point. Uh, a little overpowered, if anything. And you'll see Proto just keeps on inviting you back. But that's okay. We are actually going to proceed on and do the uh, final boss. Get some stamina regeneration for getting a battery back. And then the last one that I really do want to slot is the um, Lithium. If I can get it, but I don't have quite enough core power for that, so we'll need to level up a few more times. Um, so I think we'll get that around like 110 or so. Um, but in the meantime, I guess I'm one short of being able to equip that, so I might as well just equip the uh, equip the ancillary core, so I know to slot in uh, the lithium polymer cells as my last one. And follow suit over on this one here. Now, for this one, I could actually do the uh, increased defense and stability while charging a charge attack. Might as well, since I can afford it. But we're going to swap both of those out to the lithium polymer cells once I get enough. All right, so I'm going to pause here and make a backup save just before we go in and do the boss, and then I'll tell you the boss strategy right outside. There is one additional thing that I forgot to do that we should do before we make our save just before the boss. And actually, having that backup save there is not a bad way to go. But when you come around here, before you actually go in and attack the boss, what you're going to want to do is drain the pool. So draining the pool gives you access to one of the good weapons uh, and then breaking his left arm followed by all of his legs will give you access to the other good weapon. If you don't drain the pool, you get the tet tetra kill, which is an inferior spear to the other weapons that you'll get. So we want to drain the pool on this one, um, and we'll get the other, I guess we'll have to get the Tentra Kill in New Game Plus. Um, but you'll get two weapons this way, plus the drone module, for draining the pool before you fight him. So I'm going to go back, and this is the way that I'm going to beat it, and the way that I suggest you beat it. So I'm going to go back and do my save here, but if you want to check out the Tentra Kill first, Beat him without draining the pool, and then you can see the stats on it. 
um, and it's inferior to me. So I'll go ahead and make my save here as a backup, and I will be back momentarily. And here we are, we're ready to go take on the boss. And the way that we're going to do the boss is we are going to take out his left arm first, which will give us the drone module. And we'll take that out actually by um, doing directional blocks until we get the uh, follow-up attack. And then after we get the follow-up attack, we can go ahead and um, break it more quickly. So if you don't do the follow-up attack and break it fast, then it'll regenerate its shield, which means you got to do it again. If you, so if you're doing the R1, R2, R2 combo, you can eventually get through it. But it's better to do the follow-up attack, which will do a bunch of damage to the shield, and then do an R1, R2, R2, which will take out the left arm quickly. Then we move on to taking out the legs. If you get an execute towards the end after breaking all the legs, don't take the execute. So I did that, and instead of getting the Uncula Universalis and the Red Hot Poker and the drone, I only got the Red Hot Poker and the drone. Not sure why that is but that's how it is. So we're just going to keep on focusing on getting the directional blocks until we get follow-up attack and then the left arm is broken. Then you do R1, R2, R2 on the legs That'll break off a leg, and you can go kill it. R1, R2, R2, break the leg, follow up by killing the leg. R1, R2, R2, if we get it. There we go, break the leg. Follow up, kill the leg. Break the leg, follow up, kill the leg. And I didn't actually get the leg killed. There we go, leg should be dead now. R1, R2, R2, break the leg, didn't quite get the leg, there's a the leg. Last leg, and we'll kill it. There we go. And then we can just take out Kane. He's got no more legs left. You can sever the leg there. I'm not going to, because for whatever reason, that stopped me from getting the, both of the awards last time. So let's see what happens if we get all three awards here. Freedom means having. There's the Ungula Universalis. Never the Red Hot Poker. We are nothing. And the Parabotic Drone. So I'm actually going to check out the Parabotic Drone and see what it does. Interestingly enough, it has no ammunition. So let's go check out what that does. Oh, it looks like it rushes stuff. That's pretty cool. Yeah, so it's going to bash into something and knock it down, probably. Fantastic. So we got all three of the rewards that we could get other than the fourth, which is the Tentra Kill. The way you get the Tentra Kill is by beating him without draining the water. But the Tentra Kill and the Ungula Universalis are mutually exclusive. So 
and the Ungula universalis. Oh, you know what? Actually, Ungula universalis has lower base damage, I believe. Hold on just a minute. I'm going to check the stats on the Tentracle. So if we're doing him this way, we get the Ungula universalis, the Red Hot Poker, and the Drone Module. So the Parabotic Drone. And if we use the Parabotic Drone... Whoops, that's not the one. So if we use the Parabotic Drone, it'll do a Charge Concussion Attack. And the stats for the Ungula Universalis are kind of tricky and interesting. So at this tier, MK8, which is the tier that you also get the Tentracill, which is the spear that you get for killing him without draining the pool. The Tentracill actually has two points higher base DPS and 2% faster attack speed, but it has 10% less energy gain. Same 12 impact. Stamina consumption for the Tentracill is also 90%. So this is slightly better overall, but you lose two base DPS. So I'm not sure which one scales better um, in New Game Plus and beyond, but you can pick up the Tentracill next time around in New Game Plus. All you have to do is beat him with water in the pool. The Red Hot Poker is a fantastic fire damage weapon because you can do your... Um, R2, R1, R1 attack, and then just as soon as you do one rotation of that, you're going to spread the fire all over whatever you're hitting, plus anything around it. Now, the base damage is obviously a good bit lower than the Ungula Universalis, but your energy in is a good bit higher. And you're getting the fire damage, so you're really at 381 damage versus 403. So this is not a bad weapon, and if you do increase it, chances are um, it'll be fairly usable. If you want to do a fire build, this is probably one of the best weapons you can go with. Now, I will upload footage of what the Tentracill looks like, um, and I may even play that whole boss fight where I beat him without draining the pool. Uh, but, you know, I think you're better off in new game going for these three. Because then you've got them all out of the way, and then in New Game Plus you can pick up the other one. But for now, I'm going to go back to my Killer Claw, and we'll continue on with the story. We're too late! I'm picking up a massive energy spike. The Collective has synced up to restore Kane's memory. There's a network access panel close by. We'll be goners if you don't transfer control to me immediately. I have to delete Kane once and for all. So you've got a choice here. You can either give control to Kane or you can give control to Sydney. If you give control to Sydney, she puts her consciousness into the collective and assumes control, and then she gets all inhuman after that. And she threatens to kill you if you enter. If you give the control to Cain, who actually seems the lesser of two evils in this case. He's going to kill her, which is bad. Uh, but afterwards, the collective, its rule number two is to uh, not attack anything that's not attacking them. So I'm going to have to give control to Cain, I think. I think that's that's the way to go. You know, Sydney's been lying to us. She sort of abused... Uh, norm and, and you know took away his memories and everything so she doesn't seem like the person to put in control of the network you get me so i'm gonna give control to kane up to you which one you choose i'm gonna give kane his freedom network control transfer initiated please confirm your selection wait what you're screwing me over just like that what did kane ever do to deserve the benefit of the doubt
And if you didn't get the SSM Vanguard missile, then you can get it there. You can also get the Bang and Specs from here. And the Spark Engineer's turret, which I hadn't picked up yet, uh, apparently accidentally. So that should be every single drone module you can possibly get at this point. And I just want to see what our drone wheel looks like. Look, look at how many, I mean, it's difficult to target. You got so many of these things on here. I'm going to play around, I think, too, with the, uh, oh, where did it go? Now I do have it equipped. Where's the parabotic uh, drone module? Let me get the parabotic. I think we've got too many. We're limited in options on how many we can do, so... Hmm. I almost never use the JAG biosensor, even though I have it, so I'll get rid of that one and see if we can get... Uh, parabotic. There's the parabotic. Okay. So I'll just work between those two for now. Now, it's surprising, actually. I wonder if, because I killed Norm... We're not hearing the Sydney's uh, death yell. So before, when I'd done this quest, um, Sydney had gotten slaughtered by Norm, apparently, I guess, or one of the robots. But I didn't get that dialogue, so it's strange. Uh, uh, never mind. Here we go. For better, for worse, for richer, for poorer. So yeah, a little bit sad that uh, Cindy ends up dying, but she sort of, I mean, she started this whole mess and got everybody killed. So I'm kind of not feeling too terribly bad. So you get a little bit of loot from Athena. And you can go ahead and still go back um, and meet up with Proto at the drive-in. So if you want to go farm some more tech scrap, you're welcome to. Um, you know, I'm at 97 core power, which is way higher than I'm normally at at this point. I am tempted to get my health up to 100, but for now it's good. Um, I don't need to do more than this, and I can complete the game, so... I am going to show you the dialogue here, though. We have no further use for you. Leave now, and your life will be So there you go. So he says your life will be spared if you leave now. Um, Sydney, on the other hand, says leave now or you'll be killed. So I think we made the right choice with that one. But it's your call. If you don't feel all that good letting Sydney turn her or die that way instead of turning herself into a um, evil robot, then that's your call. But if you want to go back over to Proto, I'll just show you you can. And then I'm going to get over to the Cathedral of the Spark and we'll end this episode. Proto remembers me. There you go. still so much I have to learn. You'll help me, won't you? I'll make you an offer you can't refuse. There you go. So you can continue watching movies, you can do more combat if you want. Here's Come back here at any time. So that quest is going to stay active with you. I'm not, no matter how high I go, I can't get it to disappear, so looks like um, that one is just an arena that you can do as much as you want. Perform as much tax scrap as you want. And that's it. That is the Kraken DLC. I've shown you how to get every item possible in here as far as I'm aware. And I hope it was useful. 
I hope you enjoyed watching. I had a lot of fun with this DLC. Even though it's short, I had a lot of fun with it. And I'll just take a second, admire that beautiful view before we move on to Cathedral of the Spark. Next up, we're going to defeat uh, Matriarch Celeste. And we're also going to have to take out uh, a friend of ours. And we're going to keep that secret until we encounter him. Who could that friend be? You might want to know. And we're back here where we would take the boat normally. And the quickest path is just to go back up the way we came. Um, you could sprint through to the left over there, but that's just kind of making things more difficult for yourself than it needs to be. So go through the comic book shop here. Say hi to Iron Mice. Hey, Iron Mice. top take the exo line around and you know I don't think I've actually had my drone my uh, banner out for a good long time so there we go see if anybody finds that before it disappears and I'm gonna do the parabotic drone again the thing just looks cool um, and we want to go out the lowest level exo line. So that's going to take us over to the Cathedral of the Spark. And I just want to see how the uh, Parabotic Drone does. <laughs> yep, so it just knocks him down. That's kind of useful. little bit of a delay before it activates, but it's still pretty good. And between those two, you could, I mean, you don't need any ammunition at all to use both of those. So you've got two very good drone modules. Plus it looks cool. It's like a parrot on your back. Yeah, it looks like uh, both sniper rifles are, are down now, um, just by taking out the guys. So that's handy to know. You can take out the sniper rifle over on the other side, from right here, just by targeting that guy. It worked. Nice and quiet in here now. Alright, we're back at the med bay. Gonna end this episode here. Thank you all for watching. Hope it was useful, and we will see you back for Matriarch Celeste.